What is up everybody, BMC, back with another one, another 808s and kicks, how I get my drums to punch through the mix, all that and more, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is take the limiter off. Surprise, mother If you guys don't know, usually whenever you guys open up a new project in FL Studio, you're gonna have a limiter on the master. So right on the master, you'll have a limiter here. What I do right away is delete that and put a soft clipper on instead. And what that's gonna do is it's going to prevent the volume from peaking past zero dB. It's pretty much doing exactly what it's saying. It's just clipping your master and it's giving a bit of a distorted sound to the kick and the 808. So I'm gonna show you what it sounds like with the soft clipper. I'm gonna show you what it sounds like without the soft clipper. So this is with the soft clipper. And this is without the soft clipper. To the untrained ear, you're not gonna be able to tell a, a lot of a difference, but trust me when I tell you it does make a difference. Okay. My kick is already very loud in the mix. I might even wanna turn it down a little bit. What you're gonna wanna do, what I always do, turn off loop points, normalize, Sometimes when you normalize, it will make the sound smaller. Sometimes when you normalize, it will make it bigger. But I don't always, I don't always normalize, to be honest with you guys. What? It's kind of like you just listen as you go. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Whatever sounds more punchy, I'll use. Here we got the kick. All I did to the kick was I opened it up in piano roll. I pressed control A to highlight everything. And then I hit alt and I scrolled up on my mouse wheel to control the velocity, turn all the velocities up, and you're gonna wanna find a kick that's very punchy. Right off the bat, it's gotta be a good kick. You don't want anything that sounds like too, um, too soft. You better close and stop. Or like too R&B-ish. Like even something like this, this is, this is kinda too soft. This is a lot punchier, right? The one that I used in this is off Cody's kit. It's called I Give Up. This one, as you can hear, it's already right off the bat, it's punchy. So whenever you, if you turn up the volume on it, usually I'll turn, I'll turn the volume all the way up on the sampler, which is in this channel, which essentially is the same volume as this. This is the same thing. So I'll turn the volume all the way up. I'll turn the velocity all the way up. And then I will control the volume here. But what that's gonna do is that's gonna make sure that your kick is hitting as hard as possible. I'm gonna show you guys what this kick would sound like if it was just a regular kick that wasn't punchy. And, um, and if I had the velocities turned down, I'll show you guys what it sounds like. So I'm gonna put this in here and we're just gonna copy over this pattern. I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna go back to the piano roll. I'm gonna turn the velocities down back to normal. And I'm gonna play it in the mix and you're gonna hear what the difference is. You can't even hear it. Even if you turn it up, it's not even... I'm sure even if you pulled the velocity all the way up, it's not gonna do anything much. does sound a little bit punchier but still you can tell there's a big difference between these two kicks here right you can tell right off the bat no matter what you do to that kick it's never gonna be as punchy as the the one that i've used so sample selection is a huge part of it 
and the 808 that you use with the sample obviously plays a big part too you want to use two sounds that are going to mesh well together so what i usually do whenever i am looking for an 808 or if i found an 808 i will play the 808 and the kick by themselves and i will try and mix them together first and then i'll i'll throw the melody in there so i'll show you exactly what i mean so I'll, I will just play the 808 and the kick. I'll loop a point where the 808 and the kick are playing. And then once you got them leveled the way you like, then you throw in the the melody and start to level that according to the kick in the 808. That's what I usually do anyways for mixing purposes. Another thing you can do to get your 808s to punch a lot harder than they do stock is, again, just to raise the velocity of everything. Control A, Alt, scroll up on the mouse wheel. Make sure the velocities are all the way up. Again, I don't always do this, but sometimes I will turn up the volume on the 808. Here I didn't do it because the 808 was already loud. I added a little bit of fast distortion. All that does is give the 808 a little bit of top end so you can hear it through smaller speakers like phones and uh, computer speakers and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much all. It's a quick tip for you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to see this and how I do it, how I mix them. So there it is. That's literally all I do. It's a lot on sound selection and a lot on just making sure that the 808 and the kick mix well with each other and fit proper inside of your mix. Trial and error, guys. I usually switch out like 10 kicks when i'm listening to find the proper one i'll show you guys a very quick way to do that as well so say you're listening to uh say you're looking for a kick you got the pattern down and you're just listening to the loop what you can do is make sure your cursor is clicked on the kick and then you can go to any kick pack that you have and then you can hold shift and then just press down on your keyboard and it's gonna start switching all the samples. And you can do this with any sample, claps, hi-hats. It's a very quick way of selecting a sound. Yeah, that's about it guys. Quick little tips and tricks for you guys for 808s. A lot of you guys have been asking me how I get my kicks to punch through the mix and literally that's all it is, is turning it up, making sure it fits well with the 808. And if you guys learned anything from this video at all, please leave a comment down below, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel because there will be more content. This was a subscriber request. So if you guys have any ideas you guys want me to cover, I'll be more than happy to do so. Just leave it down below and thank you for watching. Peace.